Hello guys, if you are a mountaineer enthusiast, I believe you already know a bit about Spencer Matthew and his latest quest to Mount Everest to find his elder brother's dead body after 23 years. Yes, this Made in Chelsea star did something, and I think if we are in the same situation and given resources, any of us will go to extreme lengths to find our loved ones. When I watched the documentary Finding Michael on Disney+, Plus, I knew for sure that this story is not only about a brother's love, but instead about a person finding peace and trying to accept his brother's death after 23 years. This is the story of Michael Matthews, then 22 years old, the youngest Brit to summit Mount Everest, but still not talked about. He reached the summit on May 13, 1999, and was last seen three hours later between the summit of Everest and the balcony. Michael disappeared as conditions took a turn for the worse and was never seen again. He was declared missing, presumed dead. After 23 years, Spencer Matthews, Michael's younger brother, travels to Nepal to search for his brother's body after his record climb and his consequent disappearance. Who was Michael Matthews? Michael Matthews was a British climber, adventure lover, and successful city trader who had enjoyed climbing in Europe. He had summited Aconcagua before attempting to climb Mount Everest with friend and colleague Mike Everett. The two young men were joined on their expedition by other climbers, including Canadian Dave Rodney, who became close to Michael on their trek. All who met him claimed Spencer Matthews' brother Michael was well-liked and determined to enjoy every moment of their ambitious climb. The Michael Matthews Everest expedition faced criticism by the Matthews family following the disappearance of Michael, but the British Mountain Guides Professional Standards Committee found no evidence of wrongdoing. Who is Spencer Matthews? Spencer Matthews was 10 years old when his older brother Michael went missing, aged 22. Spencer shot to fame in 2011 following the launch of the reality TV show Made in Chelsea is now a TV personality and is the founder of Cleanco Non-Alcoholic Spirits. Spencer was raised on the family estates of Conton Manor, a 30-acre estate in Nottinghamshire, and Eden Rock in St. Barthelemy, and studied at Eton. In addition to his brother Michael, Spencer has another older brother, James Spencer Matthews, who is a former racing car driver and is married to Pippa Middleton, the younger sister of Catherine, Princess of Wales. Spencer also has an older half-sister, Nina. Married to Vogue Matthews, an Irish reality TV star, model, and TV personality, they share three children, one of whom was born just weeks before Spencer departed for Nepal. It won't be wrong to say that Spencer always lived a luxurious life, but the trauma he went through when he lost his elder brother stayed with him for very long. And finally, he decided to look out for his brother's body, so what happened why this quest after two decades? There are 330 known deaths on Mount Everest, and that number is rising every year. The increasing toll is attributed to the growing commercialization of the once sacred and feared Everest. Just 1,383 climbers summited the mountain during the 20th century. More than 10,000 people have reached the 29,031 foot peak in the 23 years of this century. Last year alone, there were 11,346 summit ascents made by 6,098 people. And with its growing popularity, that graveyard on the roof of the world will only grow and grow. And obviously, not everyone returns to their families. Many of the bodies disappear, either buried in the Himalayan ice or swept off the face of the mountain by ferocious winds. Some of the bodies remain frozen to this day, Many climbers and Sherpas lie tucked into crevasses, buried under avalanche snow, and exposed to future mountaineers. Michael Matthews' journey ended in 1999, after he tragically died on the perilous mountain at age 22. In the hours immediately after his summit, he disappeared during his descent and became part of that grim number, which is still rising. In 2017, the Matthews family received a photo of a body on Everest that was identified as possibly the frozen body of Michael Matthews. This was a turning point, and of course, very emotional for the whole family. After this, 
Spencer Matthew decided to follow in his brother's footsteps, first trekking to Everest Base Camp, then coordinating the search alongside climbing experts and local Sherpa guides to search for the body of his brother. Unsurprisingly, Spencer has always struggled to accept that Michael will never come back. Spencer said in one interview, I was age 10 and for a long while afterwards, believed in a youthful way that I would see him again. As such, the former reality TV star said that creating this documentary helped him come to terms with his brother's death, especially given that there's been no body to mourn over. As for how he found the experience, Spencer described his time on Everest as brutal. Well, why not? Overall, climbing Mount Everest is an extremely demanding and dangerous undertaking that requires a high level of fitness, experience, and determination. It is not a climb that should be taken lightly. Even highly experienced climbers face serious challenges and risks when attempting to reach the summit. So, definitely, it was hard for Spencer Matthew. It's around the height of Kilimanjaro's summit. The air is thin, and outside of our mission, we were alone with our thoughts, he said of the Everest base camp. Living there for over four weeks was tough at times, and my family was deeply missed. Nights were uncomfortable, frustrating, long and cold. Periods of deep reflection are a good time to grow and develop as a person, and experiencing hardship is essential to understanding yourself better and not taking what you have for granted. I found myself valuing my sobriety and the path that I'm now on. Who helped in the search for Michael Matthews? Spencer went to visit Dave Rodney, the climber who was with Michael when he was summiting Everest in 1999, before he departed for Nepal. Dave recalls his memories of Mike and their journey, as well as showing Spencer the kit they were wearing at the time of Michael's disappearance, in the hope this might help them identify the body, if found. Another person who guided Spencer was Bear Grylls. He had met Michael Matthews before he died, when he had offered advice to Michael before his expedition, and encountered Spencer Matthews as a child in school. Spencer went to visit him on his houseboat for advice after receiving the suspected photograph of Michael's body. Nirmal Purja, or Nims, is an experienced Nepali mountaineer who holds the world record for summiting all 14 8,000 M peaks in an astonishing seven months. Spencer recruited Nims to help search for Michael's body. In addition to those mentioned above, Spencer recruited an experienced team of Nepali Sherpas, drone experts, and guides to assist in their quest to bring Michael Matthews home. Did Spencer find Michael Matthews? The big question on many of our lips is, does Spencer Matthews find his brother? Before the search team even stepped foot above Everest Base Camp, the local Sherpa team was able to identify the photographs sent to the Matthews family. They recognized this body immediately as that of an unknown Indian climber. This was a blow for Spencer, but his attempt continued regardless. Using drones to scour the vast search area and traversing on foot to identify the clothing of the several bodies found, they failed to find Michael Matthews during two attempts into the death zone. That dangerous low oxygen area above 8,000 M. Spencer said, Honestly, I wasn't expecting the trek to be as beautiful as it is. I thought it was very much a kind of head down. Get on and go. The trek will be the boring bit. But actually, I'm absolutely blown away by what we're seeing. Sadly, Spencer did not find Mike. However, during the course of their investigations, they came across the body of Wang Dorchi Sherpa, a local Nepali guide. In a difficult but thoughtful decision, Spencer decides that if they fail to find Mike, they will do their best to retrieve the body of Wang Dorchi instead and make a difference to the local family, who couldn't otherwise afford to bring their father, son, and brother home. In the end, this is what they did. Conclusion Notwithstanding the fact that Spencer Matthews has ridden the reality TV wave of fame to stardom, this documentary feels like an important journey of self-discovery for Spencer. We inevitably wonder if we found ourselves in the same position. It is very difficult to imagine one. Finding Michael shows dramatic footage of Everest and highlights the dangers of climbing to over 8,000 M for purest mountaineers, Spencer Matthews and Nims Perja, 
with a cameo appearance from Bear Grylls as celebrity protagonists may be hard to swallow. However, for those interested in watching Spencer Matthews' personal journey following in the footsteps of his big brother is emotive viewing 